Now chances are you've seen one of these puzzles at some point, but if you want to know how to solve it, then keep watching. It's called a snake cube for fairly obvious reasons. It's made up of a bunch of small wooden cubes which are connected together by a kind of elastic string. So you can pull the whole thing apart into the shape of a giant snake. So how do we solve this? Well, the first thing we do is we lie the whole thing out flat on a table like this. And once we've got it laying out flat, I think of it like a sea monster or a Loch Ness monster or something like that. We want to look for a particular place in the puzzle, and that's this one here. So the way we're going to notice this is that at any given point we're going to have rows of blocks that go in a straight line. And if we count them, we've got three here for example, and then two, and then two, and then three. Um, there's always either one, two, or three. There's one place where we get three right next to three, and that only occurs once in this whole puzzle if we lay it out. If you look at this, this is not what I'm talking about, because here we've got three, and then if we keep going in that same direction, it goes three, then one, then three, then one. Whereas here, if we're going in this direction, we've got three, and then three, and then two. So this is the place we're interested in. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by just twisting it up like this. Let's put it that way around. I like to think of this as looking a bit like a uh, cathedral. There's one in Reykjavik in Iceland in particular that it reminds me of. Anyway, we get this nice sort of symmetrical shape here. The next step, there are two slightly tricky steps that come next, and then everything after that is really easy. So the next step is we're going to take this pair here, and we're going to make them go that way, and then that way. So just to show you that again, what we're aiming for is for this piece and this piece to be running across here. So we're going to go like that, and now what we want to do is twist that round to the back. So we've got this as part of the base. From now on, it's always helpful to remember that this whole thing is going to be 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So that means this is the sort of limits of the size of the puzzle. So any piece that ever sticks outside of this is, is wrong. And now we have the last somewhat tricky step. It's not too hard. But we've got a gap here, and we want to get this to be in there. So we're just going to twist this around like that. And then we're going to twist this up that way so that we can fit this 3 across here. And from here on, pretty much every step is just really logical and obvious. So we're just going to push that around there. Then these three are going to lay down on here. And then we're going to twist this round. Now at this point you have a choice. You can see we could either lie this down that way, or we could lie it down that way. But if we lay it down this way, we'd kind of create a dead end, a place that's separated from that. So instead we're going to lay it down this way. And then from then on, there's really not much choice in what we're going to do. We're going to fill that there. And now you can probably see exactly what's going to happen. We're just going to twist this around that way. And then this goes this way. And then that goes that way. So there we go. Um, that's the cube snake puzzle. It's extremely easy to solve once you know what to do. Just remember to look out for those two threes that are next to each other like this at the beginning. Fold them over like this. And then away you go. All right. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.